Cataract refers to the clouding of the lens of the eye. This is the lens of the eye. This is the cornea of the eye. So it is this lens which gets cloudier as we age and therefore it can block the light rays from coming in and that's when we have a blurry vision from having a cataract in the eye. When we are young, this lens of the eye is very clear. So when the light ray comes through this clear lens of the eye, we're able to see well. But as we get older, this lens will then change its consistency, it will become cloudier and block the light rays and that's when we can't see so well. Of course, it can be mild to moderate to severe and the look of the cataract can also be different. So take for example in this eye model, um, this is when the lens is clear. So the light enters nicely and we can see very well. But as we develop a cataract, an example would be something like that. You can see a round spot here. Uh, at the, this would be the back part of his lens of the eye and this opaque spot would then block the view. So that's one example. Another example would be a lens that has these spokes. You can see these white spoke-like things coming in from the side and this is called a cortical cataract. So this also blocks the view. And of course, when the more uh, of the lens gets more opaque, you can see that it then affects almost the entire part of the lens of the eye. And you get a homogeneous clouding of the lens of the eye. Uh, and this definitely will affect the, the view as well, this vision. And that is the most common cause of a cataract, meaning age-related. Uh, as part of the aging process, the proteins within the lens uh, change its nature and it becomes more dense. Uh, and that's when it blocks the view. So I mentioned that's the most common, but actually in younger individuals, they can also have a cataract. So an example is somebody with a very high amount of short-sightedness. That high short-sightedness induces the cataract formation at a younger age. Or people with uh, injury, for example, they get hit in the eye. Uh, that also leads to an early cataract. And then in some people, they're actually born with it. So this is called congenital cataract. So babies are born with a cataract. Yeah, but that, of course, is rarer than age-related cataract. Another example of somebody else getting cataract would be a diabetes. Um, people with long-standing diabetes uh, affects the lens of the eye and leads to a cataract as well. Many of them uh, will start to talk about a blurred vision. They can't see so well. Uh, and commonly, I think what they will do is they will go to the optical shop and see whether they need a change of glasses. And they may initially try a change of glasses. So for example, three months, four months, they change a pair of glasses. And finally, they realize that even this change of glasses is still not helping them to see that well. So that's when they go and see an eye doctor. So that's when the eye doctor will check the vision and realize that he's not seeing so well. And then we'll look uh, into the eye by using our equipment, which is called a slit lamp. And that equipment is able to magnify the view of the eye for us to look at the lens of the eye to see how thick this cataract is. So if that person says he cannot see well, example, in order to drive, to do his work, then definitely he will require cataract surgery. So cataract surgery is actually a day surgery procedure. And what we do is we actually make a small wound uh, on this part of the cornea, on the side of the cornea. Uh, so it's keyhole surgery. Go through the small wound, go in and emulsify the lens material in there, and then suck out this emulsified lens material through that small keyhole surgery wound. So the lens would have been removed, that means the cataract has been removed. And we actually then put in an artificial lens implant inside the eye. This lens implant can actually be folded. And as it's folded, it will go through that small keyhole wound inside the eye, and it then unfolds itself, and then it's slotted into that position uh, where the cataract uh, once was. Uh, this artificial lens of the eye can, it has a degree in it, a power. So meaning to say it can actually correct the person's uh, short-sightedness or his long-sightedness and his astigmatism. Yes, so it can actually help him to get rid of his glasses, both the pair that's for far and also the pair that's for near. There is another type of lens and you can see the lines here, the dotted lines mean that this is a toric lens and this is able to correct astigmatism. And it's then important to orientate this lens inside the eye in the right axis, in the right direction within the eye so that it can correct his astigmatism. So apart from that, we do have another kind of lens and which is a multifocal lens implant. And you can see the multiple rings in this lens. And each ring is able to focus at one focal length. 
so you can help this person see well for far and for near without his glasses.